have, and has. Present perfect tense. Have, has, plus the past participle. Sometimes you might want to talk about something in the present, now, that has already happened, past. We combine these two times using a present perfect tense sentence. Here is an example. Question. Did you eat yet? Answer. Yes, I have already eaten. Yes, I have already eaten is a present perfect tense sentence. We are talking now about something that's already happened in the past. A present perfect tense sentence refers to an action that either occurred in the past or began in the past and continued to the present time. We use the verb to have and a past participle to form a present perfect tense sentence. We use the present perfect tense to describe something that occurred in the past at an unspecified time. We cannot use the present perfect tense if we talk about a specific time in the past. We can say, I have raked all the leaves in the yard. We don't say, I have raked all the leaves in the yard yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon is specifying a time that the action of raking happened, and therefore the sentence is incorrect. We can use the present perfect tense to talk about something that happened in the past and is still ongoing. Those kids have played ball since early this morning. So to create a present perfect tense sentence, we need to use have or has plus a past participle. Usually a past participle is formed by adding ed to the root verb. Here are some samples using ed added to the root verb to form a past participle. I have raked all the leaves in the yard. That dog has barked all day. Zach and Monica have waited since yesterday. I have played this game before. We have finished our homework. You have talked about that topic for too long. We have walked all night. He has poked fun at everyone in the house at one time or another. They have admitted they were wrong. He has stated his opinion on the subject. They have vacated the premises. Bobby has skated since he was four years old. The baby has cried for hours. She has spotted a new pair of shoes. There are also irregular verbs that can form past participles where we do something else besides adding ed to the end of the root verb. Here are some irregular verbs where we've formed a past participle. Bobby has beaten his own high score. The group has become a legend in their own minds. He has built a fine house. The dog has begun to grow old. The pig has broken its leg. She has brought lots of cookies with her. They have caught a lot of fish. Kinsey has bought a new car. We have chosen a new leader. So remember, if you want to talk about an action that either occurred or began in the past that is connected to the present, you use the verb have or has and a past participle to form a present perfect tense sentence.
If you have not already subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell now. Please like, share, and comment on this video. See you in the next video.